three, two, one. Hello, welcome back. Welcome to Kindle Love Stories, where we talk about love and romance and happy endings. I'm your host, Laura Ropay. Well, with me today, I've got three tremendously talented and very popular authors. I've got Rebecca Donovan, the USA Today best-selling author of The Breathing Series, Reason to Breathe, Barely Breathing, and Out of Breath. I've got Jay Sterling, USA Today best-selling author of The Perfect Game and the follow-up The Game Changer. And I've also got Jessica Park, New York Times best-selling author of Flat Out Love, Flat Out Matt, and Left Drowning. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. First of all, let's just call out. You three know each other, right? You, you ladies are friends. Yes, we, we are. are. We've overlapped at uh, some author events and conferences and things like that. And we're. Uh, the, it's one of the nice things about the writing community is that you get to network and you get to meet such wonderful people, and you you make friends that way. So yeah, we've had That's... a couple drinks together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that last part. So you ladies are all tremendously popular. People love, love, love your books, you know, feel intensely connected to you. And you write young heroines. You all write young adult or new adult. Tell me what you think is the allure. Um, for myself, this is Rebecca, um, I think that it's, it's relatable in the sense that the situations could be, could be real life. And they can put themselves there, and whether they are lived it themselves or can relate to it on a, in a different level, it's not so far removed from real life. This is Jen, and I definitely agree in terms of I think that we probably, all three of us, write stories that our readers can relate to on some level. That's, I think, the general appeal is reading something that isn't, even though it's fiction, it doesn't seem completely far out there and crazy. Sure, and this is Jessica, and I, I think, too, the the age is so rife for writing about romance that when, you know, for me, those ages between 18 and 24, I see those as an age where so much is going on. You're figuring out who you are, and all these things kind of come together at once and collide, and emotions are so high, and there's so much development still going on at that age. You're not really a full-fledged adult where you are perhaps a little bit more grounded, so emotions are so intense, and that, as a writer, is really fun to play off of, and I think that's something that readers really connect strongly with. My theory from what you all are saying is that the reader will come along with you into any circumstance as long as you've given them a heroine that they have now attached to and they believe. Yes. Uh, yeah, and they don't necessarily have to agree with her decisions or actually like her. My uh, heroine is controversial in her decision making she frustrates a lot of my readers but they are also empathetic with with why she's doing it as long as they're giving them a reason in a way so that even if they themselves would make the same choices they can be empathetic with what that heroine is going through it's funny when you were talking about you know writing you know some realistic pieces I, the first mm -hmm. thing i thought was i remember writing flat out love and thinking i've made this life-size cardboard cutout of a brother this is crazy <laughs> Right? I mean, this is crazy. This could blow up in my face. But readers really responded to my flat Finn, who is uh, uh, one of the character represents one of the characters, Finn, who is away traveling the world. And his younger sister is a little bit odd and quirky herself. And she has ordered a life-size cardboard cutout of her brother that she takes with her everywhere. So it became very popular, and I have a lot of fans who post pictures of their flat people that they have in their lives. You have a really, really unique voice. I think that's what people are responding to. Rebecca, I had wanted to talk to you. You had you had alluded to this, that your main character in your breathing series is very controversial. How have fans reacted to the controversy that you've raised in your books? Uh, there, there is extreme level of reaction to it where I'm getting uh, people that are just beyond frustrated and don't understand her decision-making. And just she, basically she doesn't make the correct decisions throughout the entire book pretty much. And, um, and there's some frustration, but I also give a lot of uh, uh, reasoning behind it so that people can kind of put themselves in her shoes and say, okay, I don't agree with what she's doing, but I understand why she's doing it. Well, you definitely, as you say, evoke passion from your readers. That is clear. 
Uh, Jen, Jay Sterling, why don't you tell us um, something I'm interested in is your books relate to baseball, and you seem to be so knowledgeable. How did you get the information you needed to create your world? Definitely life experience. The perfect game is a, a lot of what happens in that story is based off of my college experience and I tend to to write about things that happened to me or relationships that I've had, um, events that have happened, which is always funny because whatever I write in the book that is like 100% true and like this is how it happened and this is what happened to me will be like the one thing that readers will pick out and be like, this was so unrealistic. Uh This would never happen in real life. Uh Now we sit there like, oh my God, that's like the one thing that did happen just like that word for word. Yeah, that's, that is really fascinating. You know, the thing that I think people can all agree on though, is you all write fantastic romance. How do you do it? How, why do you do it? Why do you write romance? And and how do you get inside the characters' minds and hearts in order to convey these passionate emotions so beautifully the way you all do? I would say part of it is that it's it's fun. I mean, there's our, you can argue, well, the story's already been told. Everyone has already written Boy Meets Girl or Boy Meets Boy and Girl Meets Girl, whatever. That's a timeless story. It is. It will always, always resonate with readers. And what we do is take that basic story and then run with it and do something that hasn't been done and tell it in a different way. I know that for me, there's just something in me that I like telling a story where, you know, there's this guy and and he could be a total player and the total cocky guy and, and you're kind of the one girl who's different to him. I like the idea of that. Like, I personally like the idea of finding, like, the hottest, most cocky guy in the room and being like, oh, yeah, you know, he could have everyone, but he wants to be with me. I think all three of us explore, like, the different ways that that love can be messy and and how love can be broken into pieces and you got to pick it up and fix it. Right. That's the, the hard part because we, we put our readers to the ringer and we um, – we even I create doubt <laughs> with this third book coming out. Um, I my readers were prepared for me to leave them completely distraught <laughs> at the end of the book because even though the couple I I created, everyone knows that they're meant to be together. Um, it's just it's a growth that they have to go through. It's the damages in their own lives that they have to overcome um, in order to be together because you can't love someone else unless you love yourself first, and that's one of the, the um, messages I have in my book and, and unless my heroine is able to accept who she is she can never really truly be loved in return Whew, wow I mean we started off you know girl crushing at the beginning and look where we've ended up which is <laughs> you can't love anyone until you love yourself and that gives me goosebumps mm-hmm. all three of you give me goosebumps to be honest with you you're all so talented <laughs> Okay, so we're going to put links to your websites and how to find you at KindleLoveStories.com. And thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. Thank Thank you you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another week of Kindle Love Stories. It was incredible to talk to Rebecca Donovan, Jay Sterling, and Jessica Park. If you go to KindleLoveStories.com or to our group on Goodreads, you can let me know what you think. And in fact, if you go to KindleLoveStories.com, you can see a video where my friends and I, while we were on vacation in Lake Arrowhead, had our book club about Rebecca Donovan's book, Reason to Breathe. Now go out there and make your life a love story.